in this lecture we will learn about a public key cryptography algorithm known as the RSA algorithm this is the first and the most famous algorithm for public key cryptography so to just to understand RSA algorithm first we will review what is public key cryptography in public key cryptography you have a public key which is known to all and you have a private key which is known only to the person who wants to receive messages okay so when someone wants to send you a message it will be encrypted using the public key and then you get the message and you can now decrypt it using the private key okay so that becomes the message so this is the public key cryptography so let's try to see so rsa is one of the algorithm that helps us give the public and private keys so some of the properties or the requirements that public key encryption algorithms have is that when you encrypt with the public key then that encrypted message this is the encrypted message so it can be decrypted using the private key so you will get back the message in. and given the public key you cannot find the private key kb minus okay so we will now look at rsa algorithm developed by rives shamir and adelson so to understand that let's try to uh, just learn a little bit of modular arithmetic so modular arithmetic a modulo n means when i divide a by n what is the remainder that is a modulo n so some of the properties this property is important to us a into b when there is a product of number and i divide by modulo n then it will be equal to a modulo n plus b modulo n and overall into b modulo n overall modulo n okay so a modulo n into b modulo n whole modulo n and we can now generalize it as a modulo n to the power of d modulo n will become a to the power of d modulo n so this a to the power of d modulo n so now you can make it easier by having a modulo n into a modulo n so on so for example x is 14 n is 10 d is 2 okay so let's try to see so x mod n to the power of d okay so it says 14 modulo 10 to the power of 2 so 14 this will become 14 modulo 10 is 4 so it's 4 square 16 otherwise if i do it like this 14 square modulo 10 so this mod 10 is 6 and this is 196 mod 10 which is 6 so we will try to see these algorithms okay so getting ready for rsa so any message is just a sequence of bits okay a bit pattern so a bit pattern can be uniquely represented by an integer thus encrypting a message is basically encrypting numbers so for example we have this binary number so it's equivalent to 145 so i can now encrypt this message so what is what are the steps okay so let's try to see so we choose two very big prime numbers p and q okay so usually they are 1024 bits now we compute n is equal to pq so this is the number and we also have z is equal to p minus 1 into q minus 1 so we basically have this z is a euler's quotient okay so phi n for this is p minus 1 into q minus 1 now you will ask what is phi n so this is taken from a number theory okay so what it says is that if you have a and n are co prime okay if a and n are co prime which means the gcd of a and n is 1 
then it says that a to the power of phi of n is equal to 1 modulo n okay so this is a beautiful thing and what is phi n now next thing you will ask what is phi n so phi n is nothing but it is the numbers from 1 to n okay the natural numbers which are co prime to n okay so for example phi of 6 is so 1 is co prime to it because gcd of 1 comma 6 is 1 so 1 then 2 this gcd is not 1 3 is divisible 4 is not co prime 5 is co prime so phi of 6 is 2 okay so like this but if you have phi of 7 so it will be 1 will be there 2 is co prime to 7 3 is co prime 4 is co prime 5 6 all are co prime to x so phi of 7 is 6 so this is the basic idea so if we have phi n which is p q then its phi n becomes p minus 1 into q minus 1 okay so now we choose so we have now we choose two primes p and q we find n is equal to p q and we find phi of n equal to z which by number theory is equal to p minus 1 into q minus 1 now the next step is we choose e which is less than n and that is co prime has no common factors with z okay so e and z are relatively prime so we choose a number which is relatively prime to z choose d such that ed minus 1 is exactly divisible by z okay so ed minus 1 so ed modulo z is equal to 1 okay so when we divide ed by z there will be remainder should be 1 so our public key is n comma e and private key is n comma d so now we have got our public key and we have got our private key we encrypt with n comma e we decrypt with n comma d let's see how so given a message so we have our now we have known n and e and n and d so to encrypt a message m which is less than n you just do c is m to the power of e modulo n and now when i have to decrypt i will just do c to the power of d modulo n and here the magic happens it is so simple so we choose with the steps given earlier n comma e and n comma d we find and you just when you have to encrypt you just do encrypted messages m to the power of e modulo n and the decrypted messages you have the c the encrypted message to the power of d modulo n it's so simple and magic is if you have this c is what it is m to the power of e modulo n and to the power of d modulo n so it becomes m how it happens this is a magic we will try to discover with what we studied in the modular arithmetic and Euler's theorem okay but let's try to run this okay so just try to see if it is happening so what we choose we will not choose 1024 bits prime number but let's choose for example for understanding purpose p is 5 q is 7 then what will happen n is pq so it becomes pq so pq not pq the film so 35 5 sevens are 35 and we find phi of n which is z is equal to p minus 1 into q minus 1 so 4 into 7 minus 1 is 6 so 24 now we choose e e was less than n which is 35 okay and such that e and z are co prime so let's choose one such e so we choose 5 5 and 24 the gcd is 1 so this is fine we now have to choose d such that ed modulo z is equal to 1 okay so ed modulo z is 1 so if you see 29 is such a number so e was 5 so 5 into 29 is how much 5 9 
45 4 5 to the 10 145 so 145 when you divide by 24 so what will happen so 24 into let's say 6 4 is 24 to 6 to the 12 144 okay so this leaves a remainder one so d satisfies that property now we have e we have d and we have n so we are ready we can now give this keys to two people to communicate using encrypted messages so let's say we have a bit pattern this 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is 12 so it's a 8 bit number whose value is 12 so m to the power of e will become now so 12 to the power of 5 which is 24832 now this modulo n which is 35 so it becomes 17 so cool okay so 12 now in encrypted form is 17 okay now decrypt it so c to we have the encrypted message 17 we decrypt it 17 to the power of d what was d 29 so 17 to the power of d is such a big huge number now okay c to the power of d but if you divide it by 35 modulo n then finally you will get 12 so such a magic okay you can try out this number okay on your calculator and you will see that you will again get a remainder which is 12 so a magic happens but it tells that okay now your messages are encrypted okay and you can decrypt that message also okay so this shows that okay message is recovered